there's positive news for Perth homeowners as housing values grew in every capital city in January. So let's get into the details with this month's market update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and I'm Australia's leading financial educator, and welcome to our market update video series. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So Australia's housing value rebound continued into 2020 with the CoreLogic National Home Value Index up by 0.9% over the first month of the year. This now takes the annual growth rate to 4.1%, which is the fastest pace of growth for a 12-month period since December 2017. Housing values rose in January across every capital city and rest of state region, apart from regional South Australia, where values, values held firm over the month. Now, according to CoreLogic Head of Research, Tim Lawless, this demonstrates a broader recovery trend which originally began in Sydney and Melbourne midway through 2019 and gradually spread to other areas of the country. Across the capital cities, Sydney and Melbourne continued as the leaders for capital gains after recording more substantial declines during the recent downturn. Values increased by 1.1% and 1.2% over the month respectively, while Hobart achieved a higher growth rate relative to most other regions. The remaining capital cities generally saw a mild rise in values over the month. For Perth homeowners, the latest results deliver positive news. Housing values are already slowly emerging from a slump lasting five and a half years as dwelling values edge 0.1% higher over the month. Perth dwelling values posted their first rise over a rolling quarter since a brief period of growth in May 2018. And Darwin, where dwelling values have been consistently falling to be almost 32% below their 2014 peak, also recorded a subtle rise in January. Across the regional markets, the strongest conditions were recorded in regional Tasmania, where values were up 1.3% over the month, followed by regional Western Australia 0.9%, and regional Victoria and regional Queensland both up 0.8%. Although there is an apparent recovery across every greater capital city statistic area of Australia, the speed of growth has lost some, some momentum over the recent months. The National Dwelling Index slowed from a recent monthly peak of 1.7% in November to 0.9% in January. Tim Lawler said seasonal effects provide some explanation for the slowdown. The seasonally adjusted index implies the time of year shaves about one basis point of growth from December uh, from the December reading and two basis points from the January reading. Factoring in the seasonal effect, the latest results indicate a reduction in the speed of growth across most markets, especially for Sydney and Melbourne, where affordability constraints are once again becoming more pressing. As advertised stock levels rise over the early part of the year, we could see further dampening of growth rates. Nationally, housing values recovered 6.7%, finding a flaw in June last year. However, CoreLogic's national index remains 2.2% below the October 2017 peak. Tim Lawless said, with housing values rising at the quarterly pace of 3.7%, we are likely to see a nominal recovery in the national home value measure within the next two to three months. Now, four of Australia's eight capital cities are already showing home values at new record highs. Brisbane, Adelaide, Hobart and Canberra. Sydney values need to recover a further 5.4% before posting a full nominal recovery and Melbourne values need to see a further 1.2% lift. Perth and Darwin will take much longer to see values recover, although the Perth market seems to be moving into a recovery. Housing values remain 21.3% below their 2014 peak and Darwin values are 31.8% below their peak. So guys, that's it from me today. Now don't forget to like, comment and share this video and also don't forget to follow and subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Now also, if you wanna submit a question or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, uh, there is a, uh, a section in the post where you can lodge a question for our Just Ask Tim series. Also stay tuned early next week for The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks, guys. See you later.